atmosphere is electric as Mayor President Sharon Westerbroom will be heading into a runoff election in December. As you guys just said, she marched in with her campaign team to victory by Ty Tribbett, them shouting, screaming four more years. She says the road does not end here. They have much work to do and much more campaigning to do. Well, all right, now I'm here with Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom. How are you feeling in this moment? It's electric in here. It is electric, and I am so thankful, so grateful. I've got to give God praise tonight, and uh, I just want to thank all of the citizens who continue to put their trust in me as their mayor president. What is this next 30 days is going to look for you? I know you talked about the, the, the journey doesn't end here, so what can we expect from you over the next month? Well, of course, I'm going to continue to talk about our achievements, our successes, but I'm going to paint a very clear vision for the future of Baton Rouge. Just say to all of you all, I am profoundly grateful from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. We are inside the Marriott for Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom's watch party, which kicked off at 8. It's starting to get a little bit crowded in here. More people are starting to come in. We, I've seen people like Mayor of Baker come in and different people across the, the parish to come out and support Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom. Now, she is seeking re-election for what would be her third and final term. And earlier today, she was out riding on a float with her campaign, yelling four more years. Now, earlier this morning, she did cast her vote alongside her husband at Park Forest Middle School earlier today. Now, the mayor was elected in 2016 as well as 2020, and she has a long list of accomplishments. She's worked in municipal government. She's also been a council member and now the mayor. Now, some things that we talked about, I sat down with the mayor last week. She talked about a number of things, some things she talked about, some challenges she's faced so far, the pandemic, police reform, natural disasters, along with trying to work to improve improve the construction and the blight in the area. One thing she did mention is that they've already helped improve traffic by 10 to 15 minutes by fixing those traffic lights, along with increasing, uh, decreasing flood insurance by 20%. So a long list of things that she hopes to address, as well as crime. Of course, the mayor has her campaigns like Summer of Hope, where she helps kids to find jobs and keep them off the streets here in Baton Rouge. Now, she hasn't made her way to the watch party just yet, but she definitely has a room full of family and friends here to support her this evening, which we're going to hear from some of those people as the evening goes on. So once we learn more or get more information from the mayor and her campaign, we will be sure to bring that to you. And coming up later, we will be hearing from the uh, mayor of Baker, Darnell Waits, a good friend and longtime supporter of Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom. Reporting for your local election headquarters, Sydney Simone. You can hear a live crowd behind me, lots of family, friends, and supporters. And one of those supporters is the mayor of Baker, Mayor Dinero Waits. Good evening. Hey, how are you doing? Good. So you and the mayor president have been friends for a long time. Talk about the relationship between you and the mayor and why you decided to come out and support her on this big night. Well, I've been knowing this since 2016. We like to say that we came out of that water together after the flood. Um, we've worked with colleagues for the last eight, nine years. Um, and so she's the general. Uh, she's the mayor president. Uh, she's a great leader. She supports everything that, you know, we do. Now, we don't always agree on everything, but she's a team builder. And so um, I love her to death. And we are at the watch party for Mayor President Sharon Weston Room. She is not here yet, but several of her family and friends, I did see one of her children and uh, their kids are here to support her as well. She was out earlier riding around the city parish on a float, chanting with her campaign for more years. She also went out this morning with her husband to vote at a precinct they've been voting at for 25 years at Park Forest Middle School. Now, the mayor, again, she was first elected in 2016. She won in a runoff election in 2020. So, again, this will be her third and final term if she's elected. And a lot of things she talked about in my sit-down interview last week, she wants to fix blight, the construction, something she's already worked on. She has one of the largest campaigns, the Move EBR campaign, about a billion dollar campaign that she's worked on to improve the roadways and intersections in this area. And she's also working with students at LSU to improve the downtown riverfront district. So the mayor has a lot of things that she's working on and she wants to continue to build on that momentum and build on the things that she has already done so far in her last two terms. And in fact, Mayor President Sharon Riston Broom has never lost a race. So this is a really big night for her. She's hoping again to be reelected for her third and final term here. So reporting live from the watch party for Mayor President Sharon Broom, 
Weston, Weston Broom right here at the Marriott. Sydney Simone for your local election headquarters. Okay, Sydney, huge race. Mayor President of E. I'm inside the Marriott here at Mayor Broom's watch party. It's a packed house full of family, friends, and supporters. And one of those supporters is District 6 Councilman Cleve Dunn Jr. He is joined with me now. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Good. So you were out campaigning earlier today. Where, what stops did you make today? Well, I've been all around the parish, but specifically in District 6, just wanted to get out and help the mayor and support her in a re-election bid to complete her third term. Now, why is it important for you to support the mayor president this The mayor has been an ally, and she's been a great supporter to not only me personally, but District 6. We partnered in 2021 to create the city's first fast share program to help more minorities and, and small business owners get access to contracts in City Parish. We also partnered to attract uh, Rouses to my district, District 6, as well as attract Amazon to the district, over 1,900 to 2,500 jobs. We also partnered to fund the community center, so we've done a lot of work. Hey, Sydney. That's right. If you can hear behind me, it's a loud environment, a packed house here inside the Marriott. I am here with Darius Lanis. He's on the EBR school board. Looks like you went straight from the polls and campaigning yes. to, to the watch party. Yes, we had no time to get dressed, but we are extremely excited. Tonight is all about celebration, but the work is not done. That's why I'm still dressed in my campaign clothes. Guess what? We're going right back at it tomorrow. 30 days. We have 30 more days left in this campaign for this race for uh, uh, Mayor Sharon Weston Broom, and we are excited. And so why are you supporting Sharon Weston Broom? Plethora of reasons. I mean, the progress she's made over the course of the last eight years is, uh, you know, it, it, it goes without saying that she's done a phenomenal job. Uh, she passed the largest infrastructure road improvement tax in our parish's history. You know, the way that she handled the 2016 flood, the way that she handled the, the awful killing of Alton Sterling, the way that she has conducted herself throughout this entire campaign. You know, a lot can be said about the mayor and the way that she does things, but what we cannot deny is that she is a progressive leader, a visionary for our city, and that's the reason why I support her. That's the reason why I'm going to continue supporting her. And one more question for you. You talk about the relationship between the mayor and the school board as well as the education in general, how those two go hand in hand. Well, I'll tell you this. You know, a lot has been said about early childhood and uh, early child care. The mayor's office working with our school system means every single thing for the future of our city, the future of our kids. Uh, she's been steadfast in working with us. When I was the president of our board, she was the one that came to us and said she wanted to do joint committees, joint task forces, and she wants to continue to do those things. So when you talk about the future of our city, that's where it starts at. The school system and the mayor's office working hand in hand to make sure that our system and our schools and our students have a brighter future for tomorrow. Thank you so much. And Thank we you. just got word that Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom will be down in less than 10 minutes. It is a packed house. Family, friends, supporters are here inside the Marriott as they await to see if the president the mayor president will be elected for what could be her third and final term. So reporting live here right inside the Marriott for your local election headquarters, I'm Sydney Simone. Thank you so much, Thank Mayor you, President. Simone. Thank you. As you just heard from Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom, she just spoke a moment ago at the podium. It's electric in here. She is heading to a runoff election with Coach Sid Edwards in December for what could be her third and final term if she wins that race. Reporting live right here inside the Marriott for your local election headquarters, I'm Sydney Simone.